conscious connections only. Be mindful, be love, be present, be truth. Be kind, be light, be authentic, be aligned. Believe in miracles, bringing source into your embodiment, and you will be the light that creates. That will always just be. Having boundaries isn't always fun or easy, but nothing is worse than betraying ourselves. This universe doesn't always bring us what we want, simply because this universe is governed by law of attraction, and therefore we can only be a match to our frequency. If what we want isn't a vibrational match to what we need in order to bring forth those wants into being, then the universe can only bring us situations, people, and experiences that will release us from what holds us out of alignment to matching our desires. It does so with the quickest way possible for you to get from where you are to where you want to be. That process doesn't come always in beautiful rainbows of perceived expectations and experiences. But that never means that you are deserving of that negative experience or that anything in the universe is against you. It's always only holding on to the pain with resistance that creates the negative experiences you perceive. The universe isn't against you. It's always supporting you. It's always helping you get what you want. The perception of deserving good, bad, right, wrong, can feel painful because you are believing an illusion of what should be real that simply is only judgment of an experience and what you've made that experience mean so that you could avoid the potential future of that experience by holding on to that pain. If you hold on to it, it's in your vibration. And the more experiences that you accumulate that hold that same feeling flavor, that creates a dominant vibration within your physical manifestation. And that negative experience becomes that dominant vibration. Therefore, you become a frequency match to the exact waves of energy of whatever it is that you are holding on to and your desire. Therefore, holding on to what you don't like is only distracting you from your purpose because the only reason why we have like versus don't like is to give rise to the desire and consciously go towards those desires with intention, passion, and joy. So you can manifest them into your reality right now and therefore make room to give rise to a new desire and therefore fulfill your life purpose, which is of expansion. The universe doesn't always give us what we want because we are not powerless to the manifestation of those wants. And therefore, in order to empower and inspire us to go forward, it can only attract us to our exact vibrational frequency match. It gives us exactly what we need to bring forth those that we desire, that in which we desire. Because it knows how to bring it to you the quickest way possible. So if it's painful and that pain is undesired, then choose to choose again. It's that simple. If it's wonderful and desired, then remember to embody fully in the present moment, allowing all of those sensations and emotions to be experienced exactly the way they are. Never needing them to change.
because you have no judgment. All you have is allowing for the wonder to amaze you, to remind you, to inspire you. If that wonderful is undesired and experienced, then it's your job to acknowledge and consciously communicate that to whom you desire to connect with. Because this is to allow our relationships to be chosen and not taken. By sharing your awareness of what is wanted within you, is the only way to bring forth those desires to be consciously manifested between two. If you desire connection, I invite you to remember the alignment and desire for that connection to only grow within love, not fear. By creating conscious connections, you can keep the connection and allow it to grow and grow and grow without ever losing yourself or risk of losing the other person. It's through consciously connecting in alignment with your truth and allowing for that unconditionality to be experienced for the first time. Because unconditional love, it's connection with the same intention that allows bonds to grow with joy safety, allowing of trust and flow without force or control, so it can become something that is free from any attachments, needs, and expectations. Therefore, it can never die, it can never end, it can never lessen in its intention direction. It always will be. So just breathe and allow it to flow with grace and ease. Breathe through all of this discomfort of having the courage to leap without knowing, desire without taking, allowing truth without speaking. To remember just being. We all are just love, simply love. That is the only thing that is truth. Everything else is merely an illusion. So just remember to breathe and be. This is Kendra, the Divine Purpose Mentor. You can reach me at KendraDivinePurposeMentor.com. I love you all. Conscious connections only. Don't allow yourself to accept anything lost. Because you deserve love that is free from illusion. Have a good day.